high regard for Mary is one of the distinctive characteristics of the Filipino Catholic faith. The image of Our Lady played a huge part in our country's Christianization. Missionaries then would move around carrying the cross, backed by the image of Our Lady. Now that the Philippines will soon celebrate 500 years since the arrival of Christianity, it will therefore be very timely to reflect on the role of Mary in our Catholic faith life. In Mary, we find a role model for a Christian, one that is both contemplative and preacher of the Word. First, the Christian is called to be a contemplative. Contemplation comes from the Latin cum, meaning with, and templum, which means temple. So to contemplate is to be in the temple with, to be present with. Very often, the Blessed Virgin is depicted with her eyes focused solely upon Jesus. Such is the true disposition of the contemplative to look upon the Lord solely. In contemplative prayer, one speaks and listens to the Lord, like two friends speaking to one another in love. In contemplative study, our relationship grows as two persons come to look at each other and to know each other. As we contemplate the Lord, we grow in knowledge and love for Him. It is this growth in knowledge and love that gave Mary the strength to endure and the wisdom to discern God's call for herself. As David said in the Psalms, Those who trust in Yahweh are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. They shall endure forever. The Dominicans have this motto that goes, Contemplare et contemplata alis tradere, that is, to contemplate and to share the fruits of one's contemplation. The Christian faith is not something that one acquires merely for oneself. In the words of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, faith is choosing to stand with the Lord so as to live with Him. As inhaling and exhaling are necessary for life, so the life of the Spirit must involve the taking in of God's power through contemplation. And the taking out is the sharing of this power through preaching not only of words, but more so of action. This is how Mama Mary lived her faith. Indeed, she pondered the words of Jesus in her heart. At the same time, Mary became the instrument by which the power of God affected the lives of others. Thus, Elizabeth was comforted by Mary's visit. The couple at Cana were spared from shame by Mary's intercession and Mary became the mother of all believers by her presence and availability at the foot of the cross. In his letter on the new evangelization, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI invited all believers to live the fullness of faith. And this fullness is shown not just by confession of faith in words, but also by a public manifestation of this commitment. As the Philippines prepares for 500 years of Christianity in 2021, we are called to renew our commitment. Just like Mary, we are called to believe and grow in faith through contemplation. And we bear witness to it by means of preaching.